A popular drug used to help a lot of mothers speed up labor. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa joins us now from our newsroom with a look at the new study. Allie Darren, the new report shows the drug Pitocin could have a negative effect on a baby's health. Oh, get out! There's a reason they call it a labor of love. One, two. As Katherine Heigl showed us in the movie Knocked Up, having a baby is hard work, but a drug commonly used to help with the labor is under scrutiny. A new presentation at an OBGYN conference found that using Pitocin to induce labor, according to researchers, showed a potential link to some full-term infants having increased admissions to the neonatal intensive care units and also scoring slightly lower on APGAR tests. They are used to check newborns' physical conditions. However, neither of those necessarily mean the child will have long-term health issues, but it's caused a firestorm on mommy blogs online. Pitocin is really the mainstay drug in obstetrics, but like any drug, it can be used inappropriately, and those risks with Pitocin extend not just to the mother, but also to the fetus. Pitocin often has a bad rap among moms. <laughs> 28-year-old Cassie Densmore Coon has five kids under the age of 10. Pitocin was used in one pregnancy because she was high risk. Pitocin is awful. I felt really dizzy. I felt medicated. I really couldn't breathe in between my contractions at all. But Dr. Ashton's patient, Julie Griglio, had a more positive experience with Pitocin. It was used during labor for both of her babies. You hear stories like it's going to automatically, you know, put you right into labor. And everything went smoothly. I would do Pitocin again in a heartbeat. With any medication that we give during labor and delivery, there have to be valid medical indications. And it can make the difference between life and death. ABC News reached out to the maker of Pitocin but did not hear back. More research on the possible effects on babies is needed. So far, researchers have only found an association, not a cause and effect.